Hi, I'm Derek Kerr with Evolution Will, and today we're back here in Albion, Nebraska at our test field where we've been running our Pivot X T Series tire versus an 11238 pneumatic side by side. It's September 14th, right in the middle of September, and this farmer actually just shut down his irrigation a week ago. Basically, the crop's at the stage where it's drying down, and we're going to be into harvest here right away. Probably within the next couple weeks, this crop is going to be gone. Let's go in and take a look at how the Pivot X T tire has been performing against the 11238 pneumatic since we were last back here in August and give you an update on the progress of these tires and how they've gone through the whole growing season. This farm made 17 rounds with the Pivot, so we should have some really good results to look at and really be able to compare and contrast differences in this video. Okay, so we're back down here in this uh, gully where the XT has been going through. And like before, there's been some rain that's came in and, and brought some silt down with it. It's gonna be kind of hard to get a good track depth measurement in here. But you can see the track leading up the hill, so we're gonna go and get track depth measurements up the hill next. I just wanted to quickly show you though, the corn and the stage we're at right now. I just picked this one off the stock. The uh, corn's basically you know, fully developed and it's starting to dry down now. Uh, this is a 16 by 38 cob. So we're gonna have a fairly decent crop in here. I was always told, you know, 18 and 20 is fantastic, but at the end of the day, 16 puts money in the bank. Let's go take some track depth measurements and see where we're at. Okay, so we're up the hill from the gully draw that we just showed you. And uh, this is where the Pivot X T tire is leading up and out of this hill. We're about halfway up the hill where, you know, the tire is gonna be using all the power to climb out as best it can. Usually this is where we see the worst rutting um, on average in a field other than a, you know, low spot or something like that where it's got to plow its way through. I laid a, basically a corn leaf in here. I don't have a stick with me today, but I brought my measuring tape. Um, again, we're not 100% scientific with this, but um, trying to be pretty close. There is, uh, you can see like water that's ran down the center of the track, which sort of makes it a little deeper than it is supposed to be. But if I take my tape, we're at a four inch depth track at the lowest spot. And then if I go on the sides, we're at three, and over here we're at two. So average would be three inch track, climbing up out of the gully uh, after 17 rounds. Okay, so this is the 11238 track, one tower over from where we've been running the Pivot XT. You can kind of visually see it already that the track is a fair bit deeper. I put a corn stalk across here just to get some measurements and have some perspective. Basically, uh, if I measure the bottom, we're at 12 inches on the nose. And if I go to the side, we're at about 11. And on this side, we're at 10. So average is 11. The Pivot XT made 25% of the track that the 11238 did, or you could say 75% less track. So um, again, that's kind of this whole notion of having a tall, narrow tire. You get a deeper track, um, and this is what it looks like powering up out of a gully draw. Um, the other thing to note here is basically our Pivot XT is only three inches shorter than an 11238 in overall diameter yet the 11238 at the end of the season made um, what a seven inch deeper track so in reality the gearbox at the end of the season for the pivot xt is still standing higher than the 11238 because of the track that the 11238 is making so you know again the whole secret to success with having less tracking and keeping your gearbox out of the mud is making less track to start with. So let's go take a look at some of the other parts of the field and just show you additional results in tracking and, and uh, see if this holds true in other spots. Okay, so we're down in the gully where the 11238 is coming through. Um, there's water in the bottom here and there is a track. Now, it's, I'm just gonna show it to you. I'm not gonna measure it because our Pivot XT track in the same spot really was unmeasurable because of the amount of silt that it washed in there. So, you know, here there, there's a track there there isn't but it's not really a good comparison so uh, let's go and go up the hill and show you as that 11238 is coming down into this gully and measure some track depths there and then we're going to go and take you and show you the pivot xt track doing the same thing okay so we're actually in the track here where the 11238 pneumatic is coming down the hill it's coming towards me and then behind me i don't know if you can hear in the background but uh, the neighbor's actually combining corn so um you know this stuff's coming off any day now uh, so I put a corn stalk across here for perspective and measuring, and I'm sitting in the track. You might not believe it, but I fight as a featherweight at 260. Uh, heaven forbid I was a heavyweight. But um, you know, if we measure it right here, we're uh, 10 inches in the center. And then back over on the side here, we're nine inches. 
And then over here on again on the side, we're 10 inches. So about a nine and three quarter, 10 inch average track depth here, coming down into the uh, gully with the 11 238 pneumatic. Let's go over and take a look at the Pivot XT track on the next one beside it and see how that track looks after 17 rounds here in middle of September. Okay, so we're at the track here where the end tower is running our Pivot XT on this field. Um, I laid a corn stalk across the track and we're gonna take some measurements, but as you can see, the gully's down there where the pivot tire is crossing that low spot. And then uh, this is the track leading down into that gully. Like we saw before, uh, a fair bit shallower than um, the 11238, but you know, four inch here in the middle again. And over here we're at two. And then over here we got just under three. So uh, again, we got a three inch average track here coming down into the gully, showing the difference between that Pivot XT and the 11238. Um, so we're three inches here average, and we were about nine and a half average on the other side. So that's about 30% of what the 11238 is doing, um, just a one tower over. So important to note here, gearbox height at the end of the season, I hear talk to a lot of customers all the time that are saying, you know, I go with that taller tire because I don't want my gearboxes dragging at the end of the season. Well, they're doing that because it's making a rut. Now, if you compare it, the Pivot XT is really only three inches shorter in height than 11238, but we have a shallower track at the end of the season in 17 rounds than the 11 238 and the difference here is six inches so not only did we make up the difference but then the gearbox and the pivot xt is actually going to be three inches higher off the ground than the 11 238 at the end of the season because we're not making as bad of a track okay so to summarize things uh it's september 14th 17 rounds in this field with a pivot xt next to an 11 238 pneumatic the track depth average on the Pivot XT was three inches in this field. The 11238 beside it was anywhere from nine and a half to 11 and a half up to 12 inches. So 75% less track depth with the Pivot XT in this field after 17 rounds. Really important to note because the 11238 is technically a little taller than the Pivot XT by three inches, but at the end of the season, because of the major differences, we're actually three inches higher on our gearbox with the Pivot XT because of the shallower track that we made. Really important if you're trying to keep gearboxes out of the mud is to not make a track to start with. We also showed you through the growing season, the Pivot XT going through that low silty spot behind me and cutting mud and not getting stuck because of the mud shucking technology that we built into this tire. This is the first time in this field in 20 years that this farmer hasn't had to help the pivot through that low spot or up a hill. So again, really excellent performance after 17 rounds. I hope you learned something from this video series and we helped you make an informed buying decision the next time you're gonna go out and look for a set of pivot tires. Stay tuned with us for next season. We're gonna be doing this again in a different field and a different application to really highlight the versatility of the Pivot XT tire. I'm Derek Herr with Evolution Wheel. Stay tuned, we got more coming. We'll talk to you soon.